Hi. How are you? Me? I'm good. I just have a t-shirt of Stitch and a Pokeball, you know, it's pretty damn awesome. So let's begin. Chapter 2. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not going to say do not ask me again because I don't know what it is. Well, like, I've heard of it, I just don't know what it is. So, uh. Ah, yes, of course, we can do one, two, or three. That's right. One, two, or three. Two, three, or four, sorry. Blah, blah. Let's do two, shall we? The way it was intended. Chapter two. Oh. Beautiful. Look at it. Hey! You've made great progress. Time for chapter two. Remember, you don't read this spell book like a muggle book. Point your wand at the glowing words, then pull the T button to start reading. Ta-da! It's time to move on to more complex magic. In this chapter, we will cover a range of challenging and at times dangerous new spells. Oh yes. Keep your wits about you in this chapter, and soon you'll master new magical skills from revealing invisible ink, or conjuring flocks of birds from your wand, to the art of magical fire making. Being weird. There we have it. Turn the page to learn the first spell in this chapter. Hell yes, I'm ready. Go, begin. My hand is flowing perfectly. The fire for the making spell. We'll first learn a bit about the spell, then you can try casting it. Remember, you need to use your wand to read. Point at the glowing words, hold the T button and pull the words up off the page. From lighting a warm hearth to igniting a Christmas pudding, nice. the fire-making spell is always useful around the wizarding household. However, the ability to produce fire with the flick of a wand can be dangerous to your fellow students. And worse, your books. Not the books. A pair of dragon hide gloves is therefore recommended for this lesson. More careless students might also like to brush up on any hair regrowing spells that they might know. Give me the glove. I need the gloves. <laughs> Interesting thing to collect. Miranda Goshawks left us a short story about Yay. the spell. Pull up the glowing words to hear it. Is it the story about how everyone died because of some kind of fiery explosion? Is that it? Could I could very easily make a very inappropriate joke, but I'm not going to. Ready to begin reading the story? Oh, too quick! You need to hold down. The Spectacular though it is, students are warned that irresponsible use of the fire-making spell can have serious consequences. Take one ill-fated performance of Malachry's classic wizarding play, Alas, I Have Transfigured My Feet. History does not record the names of the actors, which is perhaps for the best. Since by halfway through the first act, the audience had taken to throwing Looks like your spell book is tested again. Us. What do you think the audience threw at the actors? Point at one of the tabs, hold the T button and slide it out. That definitely wasn't right. It wasn't cauldrons. Oh, pumpkins, oh, yes. of course. The audience had taken to throwing pumpkins. Which has probably just as much, in fairness. Undeterred, the actor playing Capo began the famous foot transfiguration scene. By this time, the special effects wizard hidden under the stage was apparently as bored as the audience. And decided to replace the traditional puff of yellow smoke with a huge eruption of... What do you think he conjured up? Fire! Oh, yes, a huge eruption of fire from his wand!
the audience were suitably impressed, and their cheering only increased when the curtains caught a light. Oh. And the effects wizard began vainly trying to put out the flames while dodging hexes from the play's director. With the rest of the cast fleeing in panic, the actor playing Capo took this as his moment to shine. Casting a... Now what spell would you cast for your big moment in a... Oh, good charm, save himself. That doesn't sound right. Perhaps try the other tab. Casting a flame freezing charm, he began the play's rousing final speech. Protected from the fire, now engulfing the stage. Unfortunately, his no doubt stirring delivery was lost in the confusion as the audience abandoned the theatre. And the ill prepared effects wizard tried desperately to remember the flame freezing charm for himself. Show off young students should take heed. Cast your fire making spell with care. How much alcohol was in that theatre for well, it to explode so many times? Well, it's dangerous. Aren't you eager to try the fire-making spell for yourself? Yes. Oh, our vandal has scribbled all over your book again. Yay! It probably left you some nasty, magical surprise. Ah, go on then. Point your wand at the scribble and pull it up. It's a dragon. It's gonna kill me. Merlin's beard, a paper dragon. This Damn it. book is packed full of surprises, all right. Ah! Now look what's happened. Perhaps one of the spells you've learned so far can put out the fire. Oh it. Aha, I remembered things. You realize this book is school super. There's still some soot on there. Clear it all up with your hands, or the school librarian will never let me hear the end of it. Good as new. Fortunately, your book is protected by powerful enchantments for exactly this reason. Now, if you've quite finished fooling around, now you know all about fire making, time to try casting Who's it. Who's fooling Turn around? Turn the page when you're ready to learn how to cast this. Time to learn to cast the spell. I would if I could activate thing. Unless you want me to. Oh, that spell won't help you here. Tap the circle button to stop it, then have a look. Yes, but what do I do? It won't let me in. Okay, I'm going to turn the page back. Then I'm going to turn the page again. Uh, what do I do? No, nope, wrong one. What have I done wrong? Work. You yes. Need to learn more about the fire making spell. Fire making spell. How do I learn from you? Oh, of course. That's it. Now, just flick your wand sharply down towards the book to cast. Ah. It's got the gates open, but where is the incantation? Tilt up your book and have a look down that hole. The incantation to produce fire from your wand is incendio. <coughs> Clear your mind, grip your wand firmly and say it now. One, two, three. I can't hear you. Try saying the incantation. <coughs> Try saying it one more time. 
Oh, incendio! Sorry, my mistake. Ah! Oh. Do I have to say it? Trying Impressive. To cast a spell non-verbally, are we? Okay. Now incendio. you're ready to learn the wand gesture for this spell. Pull up the gesture. The mask of Zorro. I don't think that's why I did. You won't be able to read the book while you've got a spell cast. So press. The fire making spell uses three movements a straight line to the right, then diagonally down yes. and left, then right again. Good. Do that once more, but this time without any help. That's what I just did, Excellent. right? Brilliant. You've created fire, a valuable skill for any wizard. Now, try flicking your wand forward to send out a rush of fire. Die! That's it. You'll need to learn to flick fire accurately, so keep flicking until you've got the hang of it. Die, 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 die. Excellent. You're a dab hand at the fire making spell. I wasn't finished killing people. Real workout. Turn the page. Now let's see you handle a more challenging task. Your spellbook is going to conjure up a place for you to practice fire making safely. Pull okay. up the glowing picture to start practicing this spell. Glowy, glowy. It's time to practice flicking fire from your wand. See how fast and accurate you can be with your spell casting. Uh huh. What if I actually accidentally burn my house of light? No. I'm trying to shoot the that place thing. is full of creatures. These paper pests can be a real nuisance, so make sure you get rid of them all with your fire making spell. Use your fire flicking technique to burn away all the paper creatures. I'll be giving out house points depending on how fast and accurate you are at this time. Ah, creepy crawlies. Oops. Get rid of them. Excellent. Well done. Now aim carefully and see how many you can get rid of. Got him. Is it not dead? Got it. Whoops. Oh, it's not over. Ah, butterflies. Remember, this is just. Why do I want to kill paper. butterflies? Don't catch you trying this spell on the real thing. Oh, okay. Right, I see. Done. I quite like this one. It's a nice spell. A kill a dragon. A breathing paper dragon. Seems a bit impractical. Nice wand work. Please respect the classroom first. Can I use Bombarda? That seems to blow open stuff. Spectacular! You earned 15 house points. Nice. Here we are. Fire with Let's fire. See how you did. Here's a wizarding photograph as a memento. There you are. Casting the fire making spell. Like There's me burning Hogwarts well to the ground. Burn to the ground! To burn, burn, burn to the ground! Burn, burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Anyway, moving on. Impressive work. 